Yo, what's up? You're flexing it with freestyles right now. Welcome everyone. Thanks for watching another episode of Flexing It with Freestyles. I have today a very special guest. Uh, it needs little introduction. They told me if you wanna make a name, you gotta ride the way. Dope boy. Hey man, what's up? How are you? Hey, what's up, man? I'm doing. Good. I'm doing really good. Uh, what, what's keeping you awake these days? Producing for a lot of different rappers. So like every day, it's a lot of work. You know, every day I'm editing like like a like a song for someone <laughs> so you know so uh, yeah a lot of music like like throughout the years like i've been i've been doing this for like 13 14 years there's always yeah. the ups and downs in you know in in in, in production right so sometimes mm. some years you're not doing as much two years you're doing a lot you mm. know there and but right now like the wave right now is i'm doing a lot so i'm back to that super grinding mode right now in terms of nice. uh, you know making beats in terms of making beats yeah and also like um at the same time i'm working on my producer album so i'm trying to like not rap anymore i'm trying to not okay. rap and sing so like vocally mm. i'm not going to be on the album but then it's my album i produce all the songs i i co-write the songs with the artists that i put on the album and yes yeah, so, you know like a you know like a mm. dj Khaled or whatever you want yeah. to call it mm -hmm. yes yeah, so, yeah, so i'm trying to do that yeah great yeah. great just completed your departure tour as well when yes your sound and your um i guess the elements that you're playing with is a little really departed a little bit from some of the work that you've done in the past but at the same time you're also trying to tell a message all right so yeah that that's definitely the concept of departure you know it's mm. departing from you know, like like what you said the is a departure from the previous sound the previous you know like the super hyper songs like that mm. we don't have any of that anymore and it, mm. it was also my 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 departure to to being you know the rapper singer like you know the, it's a departure I, I wanted to just not do it anymore yeah, so like a lot of times like people message me and say yo man I miss the songs like uh you know Lei Ka Sing you know and the and the Mong Chin Chao Sui Mei Kei do that again mm. I was like yeah like we, we did that back in 2017 like now we're like seven years older already you know and I, mm. I and we actually don't feel the same way i don't yeah we're not the same person as seven years before so like mm. you know we're yeah we're all growing up so like we, we just can't do the same thing yeah so okay. that was a that was the departure of of the of the past phase and then moving mm. on to the next chapter you know so from a creative perspective uh, how, how do you how do you capture what you want to do next to be the right element that you want? Um, power was more like, well, power, I actually wanted to do like the producer album already. So that's why every song has a different feature and I want to make sure every feature is from like a different part of the world. Okay. So, you know, we were traveling, we were contacting a lot of people. I want to make sure, you know, we include ev everyone. Or like mm. you know, like male, female, like it's everybody from everywhere that I know. I, I want to put them on power. So you know, like basically the the idea of power at the time was like the power of of unity. Because okay. uh, like like yeah, a lot of things are happening in the world. You know, COVID was was the you know, power was done during COVID as well. And mm. like you know, everyone's like very separated. So I want to I, I want to do a producer album actually i didn't want to rap on it at first I, okay I want to do a producer album yeah where, where, where everyone's like like a part of this and i'll i'll provide the music for it but then it was hard to talk to a lot of the artists and and say hey man you like you do the whole song i'm just making mm -hmm. a beat they don't they why? don't they don't really get it they're, yeah they're, they're, i don't know why they're like yeah but where, where's your verse mm. so i'm like okay so may, maybe in every song i'll kind of do my own verse as well so okay. that was the idea. Yeah, that was the idea of of, of power at the time. You know, right. it was just the power of, of uniting everyone, um, different races, different parts of the world. So okay. Departure, like um, departure, was also an extent of of that. Like having mm. a lot of features. Right. But then right. it was to me that was really my 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 departure. I didn't want to. I didn't want to uh, rap or sing or, or whatever anymore. I wanted mm. to just you know go back to producing, right? Yeah, yeah. So departure was like my my love letter to to music, like my love nice. letter to the to, to the to the past um, mm -hmm. ten years or so. 
Okay. Yeah, of, of, of my relationship with music. So that that was that. So yeah, so it was nice. a very different sound. So yeah, so Departure is definitely like more. It's, it's, a, it's a softer album. A lot okay. of like post rock, post rock, mm. and R and B type of elements. So yeah, yeah. You just brought up a really good point as well too. Um, you know, different genre of music based on your own production creativity. You end up creating something from your past experience, but also while you say you're departing, you're also experimenting new things as well, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but it's like by of the past, but looking forward yeah. to the future kind of thing. Yeah, right? exactly, exactly. Yeah, nice. Given that you've done so many different things in the past, your inspiration yeah. comes from different people. Elements, places, and so forth, right? But what about now yeah. in in twenty twenty three? Well, I would say like I like all the old inspirations that I have. It's always mm. the same. It's always you know basically you know like some of the people that I always listen to. You know, like in terms of of like their music and and their or like their production work, whatever. You know, I mm. would say I would say a like content wise, it's a lot of um, atmosphere. Like there, there's this rap group called Atmosphere. From okay. from America, uh, from right. uh, um, specifically from from Minnesota, America. So the atmosphere is like definitely or um, yeah, like like you like if if you haven't heard of an atmosphere before, you could check it out. Like the, the, okay, you know, it's a lot of yeah, like, and like, it doesn't sound like hip hop. Like if if, if you're mm. if everyone's looking for the like hip hop, it doesn't mm. really sound like hip hop. But like it's it's rap. It's it's really good rap, and, and it's um a lot of okay. storytelling and like all right, nice. atmospheres. Yeah, an atmospheres content definitely inspired me to like um to you know look at look at things different. Also, like a lot of old influences, like songwriters like. Like Linda Perry, I would say. Mm -hmm. Linda Perry, cool. like you, they, like they, yeah, like you, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, for non blondes, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, and she wrote a lot of a lot of songs after after mm -hmm. uh, what's up for non blondes. You know, and I feel like because because she's one of those that her melodies have like. Uh, there's always like a, like a motive and like an integrity behind her melodies, and it's mm -hmm. not just yo. This is a good melody. She she writes a melody with a with an actual purpose. So that mm -hmm. that definitely also you know is a huge influence. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what else? And maybe you know like and also also like Kanye West. You know. No more logos. No more chocos. We on Bezos. We get payrolls. Trips to Lego. Yeah. His whole. Um, understanding of the world, his whole mm. understanding of pop culture, his whole understanding of how to package like a full concept. Yeah, I think. Yeah, like I think these these three are like the main influences. But then, yeah. obviously, as you know, so being yourself a younger generation, and also those even younger than you, they are absorbing mm. things so much quicker, right? You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. TikTok. Yeah. Oh whatever. yeah, and, 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 <laughs> yeah. But actually, yeah, your your question was um, um, what are the newer influences? I just hang with like the newer rappers, you know. I just hang with okay. the new kids and like. And try mm -hmm. to see what what they're thinking about, and try to understand nice. like their work process, yeah, because their process is like way different from what I what I was doing before. Mm -hmm. So I want to mm -hmm. learn from these guys, yeah. yeah. Now, going back to your lyric side a little bit, right? you often speak yeah. your mind. Um, yeah. Do you, and, and obviously you've seen we've all seen a lot of rappers that they've all get into the blings and the, and the vibe and all that. Do you think that they've lost a little bit of that? Lyrical rhythmic elements, you know. Um, what yeah. do you think about that? Well, I, I, well, I kind of like it. I mean, I, I feel mm. like I feel like it's a totally different genre of music. Mm. You know, mm. it's like, yeah, like if I, I feel like you know the rap with like with you know with those type of content, like mm. that's that that's a one genre. It's like in rock, you have like metal, punk rock. You know, mm. and all that kind of stuff, right? And I feel mm. like it's just different genres of, of music, you know. But also, mm. but also, a lot of the so-called like lyrical rappers that people like right now, I actually mm. don't. I actually, I, I don't. I don't always like it. I like mm. Drake. I think Drake is, is pretty good. I actually, I, I don't always agree with Kendrick. He's not really mm. that deep, you know. I grew up mm -hmm. listening to like like a lot of like underground indie rap. Remember Lupe Fiasco? Lupe Fiasco oh, yeah. was way better than Kendrick. Yeah, Lupe, Kid Cudi, all those guys, right? 
Yeah, but like, yeah, I mean, like, just talk about like lyrical, like mm. lyrical skills and concepts and and True. message. Lupe mm. was always above Kendrick, you know. But people just kind of forgot about Lupe. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. maybe yeah. he's probably not marketing himself as much as what yeah. he did for Kendrick. I suppose. I still remember Lupe Fiasco like 12, 30 years ago. Um, yeah, yeah. Those those albums, my superstars, and I yeah, those yeah, were yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah, he Great had track. way better. He, he had way better stuff, you know. So mm. yeah, I mean Kendrick but, is okay, but like he's 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 average to me. Now, since moving to Shanghai, uh, has that changed or inspired you to do or write music or live a little differently than we were when you were living in Hong Kong or even back in Toronto or in Singapore? Has that changed? The, the things that you write, for instance. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, it's it's a it's a way bigger place than Hong Kong. So like, you have mm. you have more space, and everything's more convenient compared mm. to Hong Kong. Mm. And like, and the air is better. You know, I feel like mm. you know the air is fresher here. I feel mm. like they kind of really push to really kind of push, you know, like environmental friendly stuff. Mm. So it's a lot of electric cars compared to like you know regular cars. So when you go out, like the air is just way way fresher, right? And mm. and it actually changes the way you think. <laughs> it does. It, it does. Yeah, I I, mm. I didn't realize, but it, it actually does. <laughs> so you know, like yeah. So uh, more more fresh, more fresh, and like more just more productive, you know. I've been living in Shanghai myself as well. I think the the space and also the the breadth of things you get to see. Actually helps oh, you yeah. think differently, right? Totally, totally, yeah, yeah. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. I'm rocking my pants. But I mean, fifty years, like it's 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 long, but it's not that long, you know. It's mm. not exa not exactly okay. a long time. We could trace back, you know, like which which era what was happening. And mm. I mean, I'm just, just looking forward to like the, the next era, you know. Mm, mm, mm. Looking forward I think to the next generation. I having been to Rolling Loud a few years ago in Miami and this. Okay. Look at like ski masks, all the young guns, right? So different than yeah. the ones that we were growing up with. Yeah, yeah. Even my yeah, age. Yeah, yeah. Right? But one thing that's not lacking, one thing that I really admire the, the newer guys is that their creativity is endless, right? You know, they, they know how to use tools, they leverage the, the right elements built. Their, their profile and portfolio yes yeah 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 I, I love to see it you know like every mm -hmm. now and then like someone someone blows up on tiktok someone blows up on youtube you know <laughs> like i like I, I like seeing that you know so it's a it's a very different world you know compared to like when i started listening to music and now you know mm. it's a very different world in it and like you know like pros and cons to it you know it's like it's mm. it's good for for some certain type of content it's not as good for certain type of content but like Agreed. you know it's that yeah, there's always two sides to it, so, you know, I, I enjoy watching it. Do we, do we see you going overseas to, to collab and, and work with others out in, not, not just Asia, but like in the US? Um, yeah, I haven't actually planned it, you know, because, yo, okay. so honestly, yeah, so, so, for, so for the Power album, I was trying to do a lot of that, and it actually it doesn't really work. It doesn't really <laughs> work, you know, like, okay. it, yeah, because... Yeah, I, I, I thought it's, I mean, it, I, I didn't think if it could work or not, because, okay. because I would say, like, you have this circle, right? Mm. And, and what you should do is, like, expand that circle of, of, of your audience. Like, if you have right. this little circle, and I try to do one circle here, <laughs> I, I try to spark one here, and, like, mm. like they, they don't really connect, they don't really, they don't really combine into, like, a big circle. You were also getting into the arts and the gongzai and, and NFTs yeah. and all that. With the whole NF NFT world you're talking about? When you were doing the power, because it was around the same time when you were doing power as well, right? Did that? Yeah, it was around the same time that I dropped mm -hmm. power. Mm. And then, um, not, and then I actually didn't want to, I didn't want to just do music, you know? Yeah, I mm -hmm. didn't, didn't want to just do music because I'm, yeah, because like I said, the next the next album was Departure. Departure was like, yo, this is my last album <laughs> that I'm actually rapping. Yeah. How are you with the art scene these days? Have you been dabbled into a little bit of that when you're in Shanghai? A little bit, a little bit. Okay. You know? Yeah. Because um, I see your background, you've got pictures and, and 
Oh Hot yeah, words. yeah, that, that, yeah. This, yeah, this, yeah. This is from like an artist called Looney Face. You know, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. But like a, a little bit, you know. I just try to hang with like different types of artists, you know, um, and and just try to try to connect with them, you know, and see what they're thinking. Try to see what like what their approach to art making, their approach mm. to marketing, their approach to to you know, like what is their perspective of of art. Or mm. or create or, you know creativity mm. so yeah mm. I, I just try to keep track. Be careful. What, what do you think is your most proud moment? I suppose in your in your career. I think um, I think just being able to do it for a long time. You know mm. longevity. Because, yeah, I feel like longevity is is definitely one of those because. Yeah, I look at a lot of my my earlier influences, you know, like um, mm. locally or you know just people around us, like in like the Hong Kong scene or like the mm. Taiwan or whatever. Yeah. I look at a lot of them, so like I kind of can mirror like okay, like like this guy that I'm looking up to, I might become like <laughs> like how he is, right? Mm. And and luckily a lot of them are still here today, but then there are yeah. also a mm. lot of them that 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 stopped doing music entirely, mm. right? So, so I'm always thinking, hey, should I, when I grow older, which is right now I'm growing older, right? So like, should mm -hmm. I be the guy who stops, who stops doing music and like just trying to trying to find like another path, or should mm -hmm. I be like this other influence who who stayed? Mm -hmm. So um, now both are actually good, you know. I feel like okay. those who actually stayed, you know, they 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 still have something to do, you know, in, mm -hmm. in music. And I'm, mm. you know, lucky enough. I, 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 I'm still here. I'm still, I'm still here. I'm still making a lot of beats for a lot of people. Mm. And um, yeah. And I actually never thought about it, man. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I almost, I almost wanted to. I feel like it, mm, back in 2018, I actually already started thinking about doing something else. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yo, I don't think I can do music for that long. Mm. And now we're here in 2023, and I'm still making <laughs> a lot of, you know, so. I feel like I'm pretty proud of that. Yeah. Okay. No, you you've really picked up a really important point. How you being able to continuously doing so year after year or month after month, I think it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Um. Not easy. Yeah, not easy. Not easy. But I mean, but, but yeah. But honestly, I feel like just traveling really works. You know, traveling it really helps a lot. Okay. Yeah. Have you been traveling much since you've been in Shanghai? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I was back and forth, a lot of places, mm -hmm. you know, like, like within within China, and then uh, I was mm -hmm. in Singapore for for a while. Nice. Be careful. Well, what do you see as the next big challenge for yourself? Um, you know, this definitely in terms of music, definitely this next phase where uh, I'm dropping albums okay. as a producer. I'm really nice. not gonna, you know, really not not gonna perform or <laughs> that. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I might perform as a DJ, so but okay. I haven't I haven't decided how how it's gonna look like when I perform. But like, yeah, just just not gonna vocally be in the songs anymore. And like, yeah, the the challenge is is really you know it scares away a lot of the audience because let's say I have like an like an existing audience, right? And, like, and they like they 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 probably only like me for like a certain which is for a certain thing which is rap or something, right? Mm -hmm. And now you're not rapping, and, and like they, they all kind of like that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah, 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 I think that'll happen. Yeah, like and like we were talking about like Lupe Fiasco, for example. He's probably doing mm. his own thing that he likes, that he really likes now. But like we mm. forgot about him already because he's he's just dabbling into something that we're not used to, maybe, right? So, oh. so I'm thinking it, mm. it might happen to me too. Like if I drop a producer album, like the existing fan base, like they they feel like eh, you're just doing your own thing. We don't like it. So. <laughs> It, it might happen too, it might happen too. I saw you four years ago when you were doing your show at uh, Hong Kong. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Good, bad, good, bad, ugly. Um, oh, that one. Concert. Oh, the one in yeah. the street. Yeah. Oh, good, yeah. bad, ugly. It's like the, 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 the album before Power. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. At Emacs. You, you, your show yeah. down at um, Gaojin Um yeah, yeah. I think. I think what I really enjoy about that was, even though it wasn't a big stage, right? But you guys were able to push all your creative boundaries um, from what you've 
created around that time to actually create a really vibing concert. Um, but, but it sounds like that you also want to move away from that, right? And maybe five years later, you, you think of something else again. I mean, I'm, I'm also actually more known as, as a producer. I'm like a producer of rapper. More, mm-hmm. more, more like yeah. a real rapper, right? Mm-hmm. So, so, which is a good excuse. Like, if I don't rap as, <laughs> as good, people, like, people are, are, are okay. Because they're like, yeah, but he produced. So, that's why he doesn't have to rap the best, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, what, yeah what, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> what, one thing is that. The other thing is also, yeah, maybe if you're right. Five years down the line, I might do something else. And like I, I remember, I remember that show. I remember that show, like the whole vibe, you know, like, like mm. all, all my all my friends on stage. So yeah. now, so I feel like that type of lifestyle, hanging out with like a lot of friends on stage, jumping around, splashing water at people. <laughs> I feel like that to me, it, it it only works until you're 30 years old. You know, once I'm mm. once I hit 30, right? I'm like, I what, what like what are we doing? You know, mm. you know, mm. I so. Uh, I went back to Singapore recently, right? And then in Singapore, I had a lot of neighbors that were like my age, from my, mm. you know, like that I that I grew up with. Right. I look at them, they're like, "Yo, like you guys are living like proper, decent, regular lives," you know. Mm. So I'm mm-hmm. thinking, as a 30 plus year old person, I I kind of should be like that. I shouldn't mm. be, you know, hanging out, <laughs> you know, p- p- pretending that I'm young, you know. I I, mm. I don't, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm not into that, yeah. Okay. Oh, I, I think you know everyone's entitled to their own lifestyle and yeah. how they see yeah. fit in in their life progression over time, right? Um, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And I think I think that really brings out the important aspect, right? It's about what makes you comfortable at the end of the day. What do you do to relax and chill these days? Like talking about in, in yeah. your world, how, how do you relax? What do you do? Well, I just hang out. I hang out. Really, I just have a lot of different. Oh, so like, so if, if we're talking about what like, the age thing, so my my entire tw- my twenties, like you you probably see me like like one like a couple years every couple years you see me throughout my twenties, right? Mm-hmm. I've, I've yeah. been nonstop nonstop working at the time. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. I, I I never I never had a break. I, I never I never picked up any other interests. You know, okay. any other okay. hobbies. I, like, mm. I don't have time for any hobbies at the time. Mm-hmm. So right now, you know, I'm I'm living in, in like a more comfortable space right now. So I nice. kind of just dab, dabble <laughs> into like different types of, you know, just different types of hobbies. You know, so like we we were back uh, for a while. We were back playing those like the little, the little racing cars, the little Japanese racing cars. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, like the 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 Tamiya cars where you have to like yeah. tune the cars and like do the racing. Yeah. So like mm. yeah, we we've been racing cars for a little bit. Yeah, and also, yo, also during COVID, you know, I, I, I've always been a fan of pro wrestling. <laughs> so that I've always been a huge, yeah, I've been a huge fan of pro wrestling for a long time. And during, and I'm a huge fan of like, the Hong Kong wrestling scene at the time. Right? And okay, then, okay. So during COVID, so during COVID, I, I hit up one of the wrestlers. I was like, hey, um, so you guys are not doing shows anymore because of COVID. So mm. um, can you guys teach? Can you guys teach us how to how to wrestle? She's like, yeah, sure, wow. you know. Yeah, <laughs> and, and actually. Yeah, and seriously, and, and actually because because I hit him up to teach us wrestling, they actually picked it up again. They were actually trying to give up oh, because of COVID. Okay. Yeah, they were, like, yo, right. they were like, yo, because of COVID, we're not doing Hong Kong wrestling anymore. You know, like, like there's no point. But, and, and, and I'm like very into it. <laughs> I'm like, every week I got to come practice, blah, blah, blah. Damn. And like all the wrestlers came back out. They're like, yeah, sure. Like, I, we feel like, you know, I actually gave them the motivation to, to redo it again. And I, now I see them doing a lot. I see them doing a lot of shows in Hong Kong right now, like it, and it's and it's nice. really impressive, you know. Uh, yeah, are you still doing it now? Uh, a little bit. I, okay. I'm like, like you know, like like like. Look at me. I'm I'm I'm, I'm too I'm too small to <laughs> physically. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Physically, I'm I'm too small to handle like a full wrestling match. Mm-hmm. That I can be a I can be a part of the match. Nice. You know? Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could be a fun. small. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> I could be a small part of, of a match. That mm. that's all. I can't I can't do like the whole thing. Looking at your album covers, right? Every album cover you've done, it's not just throwing something on the front. You actually yeah. thought of it. Um, you know, from Chinglus yeah. to Good Bad and to Power and to even yeah. Departure, right? What what yes. what were those artistic inspiration? Come from and aware. I just don't want to. I just don't want to seem 
I just don't want to seem, you know, like too empty or, or, or shallow, mm. you know. I, I always feel mm. like there has to be like a like a serious integrity behind you mm. doing like the arts that you're putting out. But that's mm. just my way of thinking. Some, sometimes like the most troll, the most funny, <laughs> like, like easy shit, like, like those are even better sometimes, you know. True. There's five second creation, yeah. I think, right? Me, like, from from what I think, you know, I just I just like the stuff that has a lot of uh, meaning behind. With the streaming world that we're living in now, um, one thing that's lost is um, CD album or album cover art, right? Um, what you see on a streaming platform is just a front-on picture of yourself, and that's about it, right? Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very different. Yeah. Mm. And now I'm also thinking about it. Maybe the next album, my next album is just going to be like that. It's just going to be like a big face, <laughs> you know, like everyone else. Yeah. I might just why do not, it, right? Right? Yeah, just yeah why not, you know? right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The, the bakery boys, are you guys still working together to do, do something new? Or you guys still jamming um, new things? No. No. Not so much, huh? Okay. No. No. No, no but, like, but but we hang out, but we hang, but we, okay. we talk and we hang out, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because okay, I feel okay, like, okay. yeah, because honestly, like, like um, like I I I could I could speak on them. Like I feel like Shani, for example, he's he's a director. He's he's not a real. Mm. He's not a rapper. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm I'm also not not like a real rapper. Also, I'm I'm a, I'm a producer. Mm. First, I I'm still doing music. <laughs> he's not doing like he's not doing music. He's he's a video okay. director. And for Tommy, mm. you know, I feel like Tommy Groove's like he's a, um, yeah, like he's a singer, you know, and and mm. and being in a rap group is good or bad for a singer sometimes. And for me, I, I I don't know how he feels, but I for me, I feel like him being a serious R and B artist, mm. being remembered for songs like Mong Chin Tao Se, where it's, where it's just mm. him singing like you know mm. bad words and stuff. Yeah, like it's not a good look. It's, it's 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 cool. It's very cool, but it's not a good look for him because he's trying to be a serious R and B singer. Cool. No, I, I think that that sort of sprung to another question I had earlier that I forgot to ask yeah. was, um, do you want to go to the path where it's in the future that you can become someone that can touch a different space and also be be also something that you can be proud of as well, like the art and the fashion space. Maybe yeah, I I feel like, like I feel like with with let's say yeah like like back to like your earlier questions about why you know, every album is like so different. I feel mm. like because you know we just get we just get bored very easily. We just True. get tired easily. Yeah. Mm. So I, so like yeah, once I'm tired of this thing, I want to move on to the <laughs> next thing. So mm. you never know. I feel like with the with the path that I'm going to, you know, if if the opportunities you know like present themselves, I might I might do something else. Hmm. When will we be expecting something new coming from Uni? Any time frame like this year, or are we talking about twenty twenty four? I think my album. I'm trying to put it out this year. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah, and then besides that, I'm um, you know, who's whose album was I working on? I was working on. Let me see. I was working on some people's albums. Hmm. Oh yeah, I did a lot of work on MC Hot Dogs album. Oh yeah. I think, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I did. I did maybe half the album. Nice. That's coming up this year. Yeah, let me see. That's coming up this year as well. Okay. And um. And also, yeah. And, and last year, I I put out a project with this Taiwanese rapper called um Guo Da Gordon. Oh yeah. I don't. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Her, her, so, yeah. Yep. Mm. Yep. Nice. So you know, like he's a. Um, to me, like a like a legendary, you know, like yeah. jazz rapper, right? So uh, we, we we did a joint EP last year. We're trying to okay. do one this year. We're trying to do one every we're trying to do one every year. So mm-hmm. it's, so it's a sequel. The the sequel's coming out this year. Oh, we're working on it this year. We're not sure if it's coming out this year. Yeah. Any last words to your fans and audience out there? I think, um, like you said, you know, you've done your departure tour, but that was mostly in in China, right? If I'm not wrong. Yep. Um, yep. Yep. Like uh, I, I I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here, you know. Mm. Like mm. I'm still here. I'm still putting out a lot of content, you know. So, mm. yeah, I mean, just, just, just not for myself. I just put. In, I just, I'm just doing constantly doing a lot of music for other people. Mm. So you know, I'm just, I'm very happy to to, <laughs> to still be here, you know. And, then, and I'm, I'm glad that I get the chance to talk to you as well. It's been a while, and yeah, uh, yeah. and and I think uh, I, I can't be more happy to actually have seen 
the style of work that you've done in the last eight to ten years. You know, you've changed and evolved quite a lot, right? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for today. And when yeah. when will, will we see you in Hong Kong again soon? But no, I I, I come yeah. back once in a while. Yeah. Okay. I was back okay. in I was back in February, so I'm, I might come back again. You know, like these two months nice. or something. I I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's make sure we catch up next time when you come back. Sure, man. Sure, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. you. No, thank you. Thank you. I don't know whether you remember me when I first met you. Like ten, twelve years ago. Oh. 2008, 2009. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah I just yeah, came back. Yeah.